okay dear students welcome to the session on machine learning laboratory in this session i am going to discuss about the second lab program so that is for a given set of training data examples stored in a dot csv file implement and demonstrate the candidate elimination algorithm to output a description of the set of all hypotheses consistent with the training examples so here the candidate elimination algorithm computes version space containing all hypothesis h so coming to the coding part so first uh, code of line is import random so you are going to import the random library because it is going to generate floating point numbers between 0 and 1 import csv so this library is used for loading the data set in dot csv format then we have the function so that is g underscore zero of n so which is going to define uh, the function for general hypothesis and we have the function uh, def s underscore zero of n which is going to return the uh, specific hypothesis and we also have the function uh, def more general of h1 comma h2 which is going to uh, return uh, the more general hypothesis okay uh, next uh, uh, in the next cell we have the function uh, def fulfills of example comma hypothesis so this uh, function is going to return more general hypothesis among uh, examples so uh, in this cell we are going to uh, load the data set so the data set used here is uh, the enjoy sport data set and the name of the data set here is wsce.csv so this is the path from where the data set is being loaded and it is in the csv form and uh, when you run this cell so we are going to get the uh, data set the entire data set with four uh, rows okay uh, where sunny warm normal strong warm same uh, they are called as uh, attributes and uh, y is going to indicate the target attribute and uh, uh, the attributes uh, here are as follows so uh, sky uh, temperature humidity wind water forecast and the target attribute is enjoy sport so in the next cell we are going to write a function called uh, def get domains of examples so which is going to get the attribute values okay uh, so the first attribute is sky and its corresponding values are rainy and sunny and the second attribute is temperature its corresponding values are cold and warm so next attribute is humidity its corresponding values are high and normal and uh, next attribute is wind so it has only one value that is strong then uh, we have uh, the other attribute is water so water uh, has two values cool and warm uh, next uh, uh, attribute is forecast which has two values change and same and uh, as i have told the target attribute is the enjoy sport Uh, attribute which has uh, two values yes or no so here yeah, this is the important uh, part uh, where we are going to write a function uh, that is going to indicate the candidate elimination algorithm so this candidate elimination algorithm is going to take uh, the examples as the input and uh, here uh, for uh, first we are going to initialize the general boundary so uh, set to contain general hypothesis okay so that is what uh, we are going to do here and uh, we are going to initialize specific boundary set to contain specific hypothesis and uh, this uh, for loop for uh, uh, each and every uh, training examples in the data set 
so what we are going to do so if the example is a positive example and if attribute value is equal to hypothesis value then you are uh, not doing anything okay uh, else replace attribute value with uh, question mark that is the general hypothesis so that is for uh, if the example is the uh, uh, positive example if the training example is a positive example uh, then uh, we are going to uh, do nothing that is if attribute value is equal to hypothesis value so that is what we are going to check here and if the example is negative example so then make general hypothesis more specific so that is what uh, the else part here if uh, uh, the example is a negative example then you are going to make the general hypothesis more specific okay here uh, uh, we can see we can observe the output of uh, uh, candidate elimination algorithm so first we are going to uh, initialize the general hypothesis as well as specific hypothesis and uh, when the positive example is encountered the specific hypothesis is going to change whereas the general hypothesis remains the same and you can observe uh, when the second uh, training example is encountered again it is a positive training example therefore uh, the specific hypothesis is going to change whereas the general hypothesis remains the same and uh, whereas here the third uh, training example is a negative uh, example so therefore uh, it is going to change the general hypothesis that is general hypothesis becomes more specific when the negative example is encountered and uh, uh, you can observe here so this is the entire version space uh, which consists of all the hypothesis consistent with the uh, given data thank you